Do you want to know why so many urgent cares exist? They're incredibly profitable. And uh, it's also, quite frankly, one of the reasons why you're getting shots instead of prescriptions, because shots are profitable. And look, plenty of overprescribing also occurs in emergency departments and clinics across the country, but I've seen urgent cares pop up at every single street corner. It's literally, there's like more urgent cares than gas stations. It's almost like the minute someone gets a sniffle in this country, we feel like we need to go get treatment. Mm -hmm. And the great majority of the time when you go, you have a viral infection anyway, but you're going to end up with antibiotics. And that's what just it drives me crazy because we live in a time where thousands and thousands of people are dying every year from antibiotic-resistant organisms. Every time you take an antibiotic, we're not talking about the risk side effects, the C. diff colitis, potential death, how it ruins your microbiome. And the fact that you, every single one you went to, without even really talking to you, it was like preordained that you were going to get well, this antibiotic. It's crazy. Give, preordained, given the diagnosis of sinusitis, which you, bacterial sinusitis, which you cannot make without a positive x-ray and or a culture. Andrew, let me ask you this. In fact, let me, let me, let me do this. Let me bring our infectious disease expert, Dr. Ravina Kular, back into this. Sinusitis. Let's just say it is sinusitis. What is uh, first-line treatment? First-line treatment is just, just water taking care, uh, not having antibiotics. Maybe some nasal saline Maybe some washes. nasal, yeah, exactly. So, and not there's still an this, this theory out there that the, the, someone says, oh, you sign yourself, like, must throw antibiotics at it. And that's, that's prehistoric medicine. Yeah. And it drives me crazy. This urgent care business, it's, it's so competitive. It's an $80 billion industry. And I, a lot of it has to do with the five-star reviews. The urgent cares that had the five-star reviews were the ones that were passing out antibiotics. And the ones that had one-star reviews, people were complaining that the doctors weren't doing anything. And I just want to say that when I originally went to that urgent care and I took the antibiotics and I had the shot, my mouth was so inflamed. And I went to a dentist appointment and the dentist actually took one look at my mouth and said, how many antibiotics are you on? She's like, basically your body attacked itself because you were on so many antibiotics plus that steroid injection and it was extremely painful and that really motivated well, me to do this investigation. We were Definitely, just talking yeah. about it, disrupting the microbiome that we naturally have in our mouth and that was a direct result mm -hmm. of being on too many antibiotics yeah. when you didn't need Definitely them. Definitely can have some side effects. And I've been in the burn unit because somebody had a bad reaction to an antibiotic. And I'm a, an, a GYN, so you know why they call me. Their genital area had been impacted. So you really want to think about the risk and benefits of these medications. And let's talk, Dr. Clark, I want to talk to you because earlier in the show we talked about vaccines, which have just for some reason have a terrible reputation among so many people. Yeah. And then here we have antibiotics. Everyone thinks they're as good as candy. No one ever talks about the side effects it's literally like they've gotten a free pass and obviously they can't be given without a prescription and quite honestly a lot of prescription happy practitioners of medicine I'm not trying to be critical but it's just true how did this happen because you're an infectious disease expert you have to deal with both sides of this coin can you talk a little bit about that like why antibiotics seem to get a free pass in society like yeah. take as much as you want I'm, unfortunately I don't think society knows about the implications of the negative implications of antibiotics. The yes. World Health Organization has stated it's the biggest public threat to society. I can tell you, me, myself, I've treated patients that we have no antibiotics available to treat those patients with because they've developed resistance to every single antibiotic.